Hey everyone, I'm reporting from home, which is, as you know, where all of us should be. And since there isn't very much to report from the outside that you're not already sick and tired of hearing, let's take a look inside instead and examine a fascinating psychological mystery that's occurred over the last week. Here's how it started. On April 2nd, 2020, 11 people in different places all over the world woke up and all had the same dream. I joined a meditation group because I thought it might help me finally connect with people. I mean, the timing seemed right. Locked away, so why not ponder the last 10 years and see how I can do things better? Now we know this because all of them are either directly part of or connected to someone who's part of an online meditation group that was started by a lady called Hana just over two weeks ago. Hi, and thank you. Thank you for, for visiting my webinar room. It's such an honor. So guys, um, what I've been thinking lately is that we're living in a wonderful time. This is the time when people are coming all together from different, different corners of the world to bring the light. Hace 11 años, mi hija Nadia desapareció. Una persona fue arrestada por secuestrarla. Pero al final la dejaron ir, que porque no tenían pruebas. At least, connecting with all these strangers in the crisis didn't feel so damn threatening. I mean, what can they possibly do to you, right? They're far enough away. You know what, it actually worked. I even reconnected with an old friend, so that was cool. But then after all this dream madness started, I just feel like I'm being investigated again and I don't need that shit. On April 1st, 2020, Hannah posted on the group that she would like us to record ourselves describing a particularly vivid dream that we've had recently since staying home and sent it to her. And in this group, amazing group by the way, we have um, different people from different life walks, different paths. Um, as I read in some comments of yours, some of you were having difficulties lately, like going through tough times, you know, going through tough times is something I can really relate to. Y a mi niña no la han encontrado. Me quitaron a mis hijos porque alguien decidió que yo no era lo suficientemente capaz como para ser padre. Y no fue por algo que hice o que no hice. Yo quería ser papá. Yo quería estar ahí para los dos. Pero no me dejaron. A mi hijo ni siquiera lo conocí. Y parece que en el mundo entero a nadie le importa cómo se siente esto. Cómo se siente ser papá. Y que no se te permita ser parte de la vida de tus hijos. She was planning on comparing and analyzing the different dreams and give some kind of energy readings based on different demographics and what they were dreaming about. Well, turned out to be a really short reading.
so. This was my pitch. This was my story, and that was happening. I was writing this story, and now I'm living it. What the hell is going on? Okay, how about this then? I'm gonna write a story about a writer who gets painted in advance for her next 12 novels so she can keep paying her bills. Universe, please. Work your magic. I honestly don't know how to feel about all this. It feels really sketchy and weird and I'm starting to think if that meditation group is behind it. And if there's something really wrong about that Hannah person. To be honest, I thought she was really cool. I I enjoyed it. I I was trying to feel calmer lately and I didn't exactly hate the whole meditation thing. Well we can forget about that now. I mean what do I do? Do I write this? Do I continue writing this? And if it turns out differently, which one is going to be considered canon? My original script or this weird real life adaptation of it? They didn't even let me choose the actors for it. How are you feeling? I, um, I have these really bad migraines. Maybe it's jet lag. You've just taken a big step. Give yourself some time. But, but, but I, I don't have any time. I mean, I have to get on with and, 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 and it needs to... Focus. What is the most important thing right now? To... Find Matteo. Is that what you want? Or you are still trying to fix your partner's problems? No, that that is me. I I have to find him, and I, I know that is if it's important if I... to you, or is it important to your partner? He he can make things okay. I I know that if I find him here, he he will be. Able... You're not answering the question. No, he is not important to me. Is that really true? Yes. I, I just need him to make Rene go away. What makes you think he can? He... He loves him or something like that. I really thought he was the one. We met. I mean, the way he treated me, it was... I mean, he was a bit awkward at first, you know, like... He actually barely looked at me on the first date. Um, I didn't even really think he liked me. I didn't even really think I liked him, to be honest. He's not my type at all. I mean, he's not bad looking, but he has really surprised me. And it was a good time and, and I don't regret I tried back then, but now... Con Nadia... Con Nadia fue diferente. 
Por lo menos a ella la pude cargar y abrazar cuando nació. A mi niña por lo menos la pude tener conmigo 15 maravillosos años. 15. Esa edad ha sido maldita para mí. Yo tenía 15 años cuando perdí una parte muy importante de mi ser. Y luego perdí a mi hija cuando ella tenía la misma edad. Unas personas despreciables me quitaron lo que más quería. Y no fue mi culpa, no. Entonces, supongo que tu negocio está en auge en estos días. Sí. <risa> Podría decirse. La gente está con muchos problemas. y Necesita ayuda para dormir. ¿Y ¿Hacen envíos internacionales? ¿Vos necesitas ayuda? Siempre. Es muy temprano para dormir. Me gusta tu actitud de optimista. Es que es un baile. Bueno, sabes que soy un palarín de mierda. Pero si es 90% de esfuerzo y solo 10% de talento. ¿Y con quién bailaría? Podrías bailar solo. ¿Para qué? Para disfrutarte. ¿Y cuál es el punto de disfrutarse? Que pase el tiempo. ¿Hasta qué? Hasta la hora de dormir. I can understand that. You might not think I can, like she's sitting here in a white dress. Believe me, I do know what the tough time is. So. So. <laughs> um, if you want to connect and talk to me, just, just go for it, <clears throat> you know? Because if now the world doesn't let us to connect offline, doesn't mean that we cannot do it online, right? I really need your help. I I'm sorry if you still hate me for what I did 11 years ago, but, but this is serious. And I'm sure you still care about Renee. He still cares about you. Please, get over yourself and talk to me. Hey, hi, hi. <laughs> oh, so cool to hear your voice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I've been a little bit quieter on the group, but <sighs> so good to meet you. I know, isn't it crazy? Yeah, I mean, you were there in Japan. It's so wonderful how things are coming together, you know, right? Yeah. You are really inspiring. Yeah, okay. I feel like everyone is losing it and, and you are the opposite. Yeah, I think I've, I've always been a bit Weird. Maybe um, it's the other way around, though. Maybe everyone is weird and you're the only one who's sane. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Mm. Or maybe I just always met the 
wrong people before. Uh-huh. I guess it's just complicated. Um, uh, can you just hold on for, for a sec? I just can't give up on the people I care about so easily. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I just think that the trick is not to make it complicated for yourself. But what if I'm not just worthy of that? You can change others. What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What does it mean to you? For me, it means that um, I only give as much light as I can. As much light as I have. So, the brighter I shine, the more I can give. Something like this. As I said, you're definitely inspiring me. Yeah, like inspiring others, exactly. One dreamer at a time. Nadia desapareció cuando yo no estaba ahí para protegerla. Y eso era lo que yo más quería. Yo siempre quise cuidarla. Yo siempre quise protegerla. I'm actually furious that all it takes is just one tiny stupid message. You know, like one message from the man I thought that was over years ago. And now here I am, like a stupid oh, idiot little girl staring at my phone and and again, as usual, he's not responding. And it's not... I mean, I have a life. I'm, I'm excited about my life. Si sufres de insomnio, hay algunas cosas que te recomiendo que pruebes antes de contactarme. Primero debes asegurarte de que tu cama sea cómoda y acogedora. La temperatura en tu habitación debe mantenerse lo más baja posible y debes asegurarte de tener aire fresco allí. Si puedes, permanece fuera de tu habitación durante el día, para que tu cuerpo pueda tener automáticamente conexión entre el espacio y la posibilidad de dormir. ¿Qué? Debes evitar la cafeína, el alcohol, nada. Y nicotina si tienes dificultades. Si tienes dificultades para calmarte. Síñate a una rutina clara. Ir a la cama en el mismo horario, despertarte en el mismo horario, evitar las pantallas en la cama con vos. ¿Qué lo escribo? Evita otras fuentes de luz fuerte también. Asegúrate de hacer algo de ejercicio durante el día. Particularmente yoga, pilates, tai chi, ejercicio de baile ligero. Cualquier cosa que te ayude a concentrarte en tu respiración puede ser muy útil para colaborar en la realidad de tu vida cotidiana. Encuentra cosas por las que estás agradecida cada día. Te recomiendo que encuentres una forma de meditación que funcione para vos. Calmar tu mente es uno de los requisitos previos más importantes para dormir bien. Estar en el momento, estar en el ahora. Cada momento es precioso. Nunca se sabe cuándo todo podría repentinamente cambiar. Nah, estás loco. Por eso desde hace 11 años he renunciado a todo en mi vida. Ya no me importa nada. Lo único que he hecho día tras día desde entonces es buscar a mi hija. A mi niña. A mi amada Nadia. Si sabes algo, si ves algo, si tienes alguna idea de lo que pudo haber pasado el 2 de abril del 2009 en Los Ángeles, por favor, te lo suplico.
ayúdame. Ayúdame. 